What's up guys, welcome back to Bring Me Joy-Con. Today I want to take a look at a game that I found to be absolutely amazing, um, particularly the art. This game is called Valiant Hearts. The first time I played this game, I believe it was on the PS3. So when I saw that it was getting a Switch release, I just had to have it. And actually, then I saw the physical release was a dual pack with Child of Light. We will cover that game later on. But yeah, I had to pick this up because, you know, two very cool indie games physically released on the Switch, it's a no-brainer. You've, you've got to get them when you can. This game essentially tells the story of World War One, and you play as different characters, and it looks to be hand-drawn. I don't know that for a fact. I just know that the artwork in this game is absolutely beautiful. The animation is awesome. I really, really like it. It's almost like opening up a storybook and taking control of it and that to me just you know it just sucked me right in I I just I had to keep playing and um, like I said I originally played it on the PS3 I believe I played it all the way through uh, it was a long time ago I can't remember for sure um, I'm like halfway through this game now on the switch and I will definitely be finishing it because the the story and the the art and everything just it really pulls me in and you uh you take control of i believe it's four different playable characters and it tells this whole beautiful story and you have all these little different tasks you have to do you can pick up items and throw them and, uh, at one point it has you dodging bombs that are dropping from the, the sky and just very very cool the how the gameplay changes while telling you this story and it just really keeps you involved and it it changes you know just enough every now and then to just really uh, keep you wanting to you know not put it down I mean you, you just you just keep going through this incredible story I really like that you can like pick up the wine bottles and throw them and it's pretty cool you can pick up grenades and and all these different things and it, basically it's like a I would almost call it a puzzle game because you're to get through each area you have to figure out okay do I do I need to you know make this soup in this big pot or do I need to throw this glass bottle to distract the guards so I can sneak by or do I need to throw something at the ladder to knock it down so I can climb up it it's really it's you know I, I wouldn't really call it like an action game but it's it's definitely more of a puzzle game that just tells an incredible story and uh, being a cheap game I, I believe on the eShop you can pick it up for like 15 or 20 dollars probably less when it's on sale so really if you've never played through this game before it is definitely something you want to put on your radar I assume most people have played it before because like I said it came out back in the PS3 days but um, yeah if you have not yet played this game I very highly recommend it especially if you're gonna just buy it on the eShop or whatever I'm sure you can wait till Ubisoft is having a sale on the eShop and snatch it up uh, Best Buy is where I got my physical copy and it's very cool. I believe that's the only physical copy of it is the dual pack with Child of Light. So um, if you are like me and you like having your physical copies, um, Best Buy is definitely the place to go. I don't know if other people had it or not. I just know for sure that this game is worth your time and it's amazing. Do me a favor, guys. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Um, we're posting six days a week. We are having a lot of fun, playing a lot of games. We're reviewing a ton of games, at least two reviews a week. I do uh, gaming news Monday and Wednesday. The reviews are on Tuesday, Thursday. We live stream Friday night for sure. I've been live streaming a little more than that lately, 
let me know what you guys think of that. Um, thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day, guys. Est-ce que ça va? Dearest Papa, we live in a climate of uncertainty. Germans use the people of Saint Miel as human shields against the French bombings. I hope the Germans treat you well and that your wound has healed. Your grandson sends you kisses. I sent you a picture of him. All my love. Please write soon. Hey,